What's up guys, Skitter Rampage here, so tonight we have some Funko News updates. So One Piece Zero Zero, the last One Piece pops we have been waiting on, we got some emails today going out saying that it might ship soon, so that was very interesting. Now we also do have some brand new Pokemon Funko Pops, Hot Topic Expo announcements, and a bunch of other things like the Luffy Thousand Sunny arriving broken. Let's check it out. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we do have a bunch of different Funko News announcements to go over, but before we jump into all that, we do have our question of the day, and that is, name a Funko product in your collection that is not Funko Pops. So today I'm going to pick the Funko Popsies. I only own one, and it is the uh, little Spider-Man one. You press it and it says, have an amazing day. So yeah, this is a Funko product that I own that isn't Funko Pops. Okay, so we have a lot of things to go over. So today I do want to start off with our quick winter convention update on the Luffy Thousand Sunny. Now a lot of people were wondering when we first ordered this one if it was going to be very similar to the Going Merry and Arrive Broken. And in fact, some are arriving broken. As you can see in this picture shared from a TikTok account, Mr. Wom, I think that's how you pronounce his name, um, you can see that the flag, the pirate flag, is actually breaking off in some areas. Now, I've seen multiple people actually stating that theirs are arriving broken in this same manner. Of course, a little bit of super glue can fix this, and Funko did actually take extra measures in terms of putting little plastic pieces in between like the sails, and I think Luffy, I think it was, to actually kind of like help give it some more sturdiness. However, doesn't seem to be helping in this case because the pirate flag is now breaking. Again, in the grand scheme of things, it's not a huge deal because you can just fix it with a little super glue. However, it technically should not be arriving broken, so I can see why some people would be upset. And if you wanted to replace it, it would cost you roughly like $100, so yeah, people can definitely be upset about this one. Now, you can contact Funko if you're really worried about this, and they might replace it. I'm not exactly sure because it is showing sold out technically, so there's a 50-50 shot of them replacing it. But again, you can also just fix it with super glue. Now, something else I wanted to mention was the big delay. It's kind of funny. I did a video update kind of talking about if things would restock yesterday, and then right after that video went up, a bunch of order delay emails went out, like literally thousands upon thousands. So, this was kind of expected, to be honest. Again, I told you guys it's the holidays, so again, very, very expected on this, but it was just funny timing there. Now, I also got an email saying that my order was delayed. Unfortunately, though, they didn't give us an updated date as to when it might arrive, so that's a little scary. Now, if you did receive your Luffy so far, drop a comment down below. Did it arrive intact, or did it arrive with a broken flag? I'm curious how many broken flags are really out there. Now, next up, I do want to go over some recently announced Funko products. Now, firstly, we did have the new Pinocchio Funko Pops here. These are set to ship in January of next year and let me know if you guys are gonna pick those ones up or pass on them and if you're excited about the movie. Now we also did have the brand new Darth Vader Deluxe Pop. That one is glow-in-the-dark completing that set. This one is available over at GameStop still if you want to pick it up. I did not see a release date just yet. Now we also did have Funko Snaps for FNAF. Some of these are available on Funko's website if you want to head over there and see which ones might still be in stock. Now for anyone collecting Funko NFTs, more specifically the Avatar ones, I wanted to let you guys know that Redemption Day is today so make sure to look into your account and make sure to redeem a couple more new things shared from box lunch stores. We do a first looks at Walt Disney with drawing as well as the pop movie poster of Snow White and the woodland creatures there. That thing is absolutely massive. Now, I'm kind of in agreement with a lot of people with some of these pop movie posters. As cool as they are, to be honest, I think there's just so much space base in there and like you could realistically do the same thing here with the pop VHS cover and it feels like they're just trying to make more money by stretching that box for no reason. There's just so much extra space in there. Maybe if they put some of like the creatures like in like little shelves on the you know in the empty spaces of the actual pop movie poster that could be interesting but I feel like there's so much extra space in these and it feels highly unnecessary. But again it does have that really cool factor but at $50 a pop and these things take up so much space. I can see why people might not want to pick this up. Now, we haven't had an official announcement for these just yet, but they are starting to show up at box lunch stores, it does seem. We did have another brand new Disney Funko Pop here. We did have a Mickey Mouse on the Haunted Mansion buggy. This one was actually a pretty cool pop ride. Now, this one was shared from Disneyland Goonies here. I believe it was available at the park briefly, but did sell out. Should go online fairly soon here, and I think it's going to retail for around $35 to $50 depending on what Disney charges for it, because usually pop rides are anywhere from like $30 to $40, but again, 
Pricing these days seems kind of all over the place, so expect anywhere, I guess, $30 to $50 range. Here we did have a couple new Marvel announcements. Firstly, we do have a comic cover for the Green Lantern releasing on January 31st. This one is still available over on Walmart's website if you do want to pick it up. Now, we also did have the Civil War Vision announced today over on Amazon. This one does release January 1st, and as you can see in the photo there, you can see it says one of 12 pops, and you can see that they nest together. Now, I'm assuming that they're kind of maybe magnetic or something like that or they might clip together but I don't really see any clips in the actual glam so we'll see what happens with that that's why it's leading me to believe that they might be magnetic and just all kind of like magnetized together to make that scene but you can't see it's team versus team here I believe the airport scene this is gonna be very unique now in my opinion, I think it's really cool, but I think it would have been really cool if they released it around the movie and the rest of the Civil War pops and not like six years later and it just feels weird and unnecessary right now and it feels just like their attempt to re-release old characters again essentially for no reason just to kind of like milk and cash grab that movie as much as possible I, I I just feel like this was highly unnecessary in my opinion and they definitely could have went like the Avengers assembled deluxe route in my opinion I think that would have been really unique but they decided to just do these simple base stands with no really added features so it's gonna be very interesting to see how this whole diorama piece does actually look together but let me know are you guys excited are you not excited about this one now something else that was interesting for a couple days until the announcement they had it at $30 on Amazon and then it just price adjusted today to $12.99 but it's showing as a discount not like a new listing essentially so I would recommend maybe picking it up now if you are interested in this set and then before they kind of like adjust it back to $30 for some random reason now shared over from Pokemon restocks we do have first looks at three brand new Pokemon Funko Pops now we do have Espeon, Munchlax, and Oshawa these were not officially announced by Funko just yet but they still do look really good to be honest and I can't wait for their official announcement. I do feel like this was a huge missed opportunity for Munchlax to be flocked to be honest. Like I agree with people saying that. I will say it's probably safe to pass on the comment if you guys don't want to pick it up right now and are waiting for like an exclusive flocked or diamond collection version because there is a strong chance that Funko is going to do that. Now make sure to stay tuned for Funko's official announcement on these fairly soon I'd imagine and comment down below which one is your favorite out of all three of them. Here we have some updates on Hot Topic's brand new expo here happening in December. Now they did actually change the date from December 16th to December 13th and all of these exclusives will be dropping online starting at 8 a.m. PT that day as well as in store on December 13th. Now checking out the exclusives we do have the Blink 182 exclusive three pack as well as Itadori there that was previously a regular Hot Topic exclusive and recently switched. Now we also do have the Stitch and Bath Kuromi exclusive Robert Smith, the Christopher Robin moment there. We do have a brand new Kakashi skateboard, which there's a little bit of an error on that one. I'll show you guys in a second, as well as the Too Faced Soda and a brand new Jack Skellington Funko Pop. Now blowing up an image of this skateboard for you guys, at first glance, it's actually a really awesome skateboard, to be honest, and I would love to maybe get it to actually hang up on the wall. However, I think Funko charges like ex obscene prices for these decks, so that's why I never get them unless they go on sale. Anyways, though, I want you guys to take a closer look at the name here. It does say, Kakashi Hitake? Hitake? It, it's not spelled right. I I don't know how they missed that. Now, obviously, by now, Funko name errors are not exactly something new. Like, we recently just had Rock Lock turn out to be Lock Lock, so that was interesting. Or Fused uh, Zamasu, I think, was spelled wrong. Or Enlargement was spelled wrong on that Zamasu box as well. So, there's definitely a lot of different Funko error names out there. If you guys are wondering, this is not exactly going to be anything special or extra value there because all of them are seemingly going to have that error on them. Anyways, if you guys are looking forward to any of these exclusives, to reiterate it one more time, make sure to go over to Hot Topic stores on December 13th for the in-store drop or online at 8 a.m. PT. Now, the last thing I did want to talk about today was Zoro Juro. Now, a lot of people have been looking forward to this common or exclusive or whatever it is by now. And you guys have been asking me for updates for literally months and finally we kind of seemingly have some sort of update but not really at the same time because it's just an email that states that my order is getting ready to ship soon and make sure to have my details all together and correct and it's very weird because I've seen a couple people saying like EB Games for example over in Canada somebody commented earlier on my Instagram thread saying that they delayed this one until March but somebody else was saying that their order was saying that it would ship out on December 15th. So very, very interesting there that there's many, many dates. I don't have a date on my order. My order just states that it was originally ordered back in January of 2021. I didn't even realize it's been two years now, but yeah. 
It's been two years of a delay on this pop and Falco has just said nothing. Very, very frustrating on this one. GameStop seemingly has been the only retailer to not cancel this. I think Big Apple Collectibles actually might not have canceled it as well, but I don't know. Does anybody even order from them still? Anyways, anyways. GameStop never canceled my order, so that's what led me to believe that it might maybe be an exclusive now because everywhere else seemingly canceled it, but we haven't exactly heard anything about it being an exclusive. Now, given we hadn't heard anything for a while, my next conclusion was, hey, they're probably going to announce this in the next set of Funko Pops uh, for One Piece come January or February or whenever, you know, with the Eustace Kid Funko Pop, as well as Kaido, uh, Snake Man Luffy, and more. So that's what I was kind of speculating there, but now we got this email update today, and now I'm just really confused, to be honest, with the rest of you guys. This one has been very elusive. Let me know down below, did you guys get an email today from GameStop saying that your order might ship soon because that is the only thing left in that massive order I placed during Funko Fair in January of 2021. That's the only pop left that hasn't shipped and that's seemingly what they're pointing to. So I am very, very confused. So the big question is, will he ship out very soon like the email is stating or is it just kind of like a random email they send out again to remind us that we still have this one on order? Because I know some people were actually saying that their orders were canceled from GameStop, but not all the orders were canceled. So it's it's interesting. And as well as I also saw a GameStop employee saying that it was no longer in the system. So why would I still actually have an email and an order about this one? It's it's very weird. As you guys can see, it's very confusing to keep up with. But we're going to just have to see if it ships in a couple weeks or if this was a fluke. Okay, guys, those are all the updates I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, smash that like button down below, as well as leave a comment down below with any questions or concerns you may have about anything we did discuss today. Now, I would like to say a big shout out to all the wonderful Patreon supporters of the channel. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate your love and support towards myself and the channel. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a Patreon-only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. Now, we also do have a Facebook group with over 15,000 members that's buy, sell, and trade, and and make sure to be following me on all my social medias at Skittle Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page to stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.